joined today by Sandra Rivera, who is the VP and GM for the Network Platforms Group at Intel. Sandra, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So Sandra, why is uh, OPNFV Arno so significant for the NFV market right now? Well, this is huge because it's the first time that the industry is coming together with the specific goal of accelerating the deployment of NFV. And the collaborative community is made up of service providers, of system integrators, of equipment manufacturers, ISVs, as well as ingredient technology companies like Intel. But it's this singular focus on how we move from the technology feasibility phase and even some of the early proof of concepts and trials to mass broad commercial deployments. So you mentioned that uh, OP NFV will sort of accelerate the NFV adoption. How exactly is it going to do that? Well, the objective uh, behind OP NFV is to create a standard approach, a standard software infrastructure for how developers can innovate and create solutions around uh, NFV. And by having a standardized approach that uh, takes advantage of much of the innovation that we see coming from a number of other industries, including the cloud and, and data center uh, industries, the uh, community is able then to bring a set of solutions to market that are interoperable and uh, best in class offering much of what the appeal is behind NFV, which is vendor choice and best of breed solutions in the market. Okay, now how has Intel specifically been involved with uh, Arno's development? We've been committed uh, from the very beginning. We were a platinum uh, founding member of OPNFV. We have also been one of the companies that have uh, put up a test infrastructure. So we have uh, implemented an entire Arno testbed infrastructure for developers to come in, verify, optimize, tune uh, their virtualized network functions and other capabilities on top of this NFV uh, infrastructure and substrate. So, uh, so we are one of the, the initial test labs where that will happen. We also have been contributing heavily to, um, to both the Bootstrap Get Started uh, project as well as the Continuous Integration product, uh, project which really make up the heart of this initial Arno release. And there are many other projects uh, in Arno right now. We have over 30 uh, projects at this stage and we are contributing with software development resources uh, to many of those as well. That reminds me of uh, Open Network Platform, which is another sort of parallel development from Intel. How will that be affected by the availability of Arno? Yeah, uh, well, we think it's going to make things go faster. So we started investing in the Open Network Platform, which is our reference architecture for how you take all of these ingredient hardware and software technologies and integrate optimize and then publish a recipe of how you can actually deploy using this uh, architecture more quickly and more effectively. It's really trying to take a lot of the trial and error out of the effort of, of putting together these pieces. Um, we did that uh, before uh, Arno or before APN, OPNFV was ever envisioned. So now in future releases, we are going to use the foundation of, of Arno um, and future releases of OPNFV to build our open network platform. And all of the contributions that we've been making to OpenStack, Open Daylight, uh, Open VC, which our optimizations around DPDK and other uh, capabilities will fold into much of what Arno establishes as a foundation and will build up uh, from there. Intel has spent a lot of time and investment in developing a, a, like a robust NFV ecosystem. So how do you think that the availability of OP, NFV, Arno will affect those companies and how are you planning to, to work with your partners to sort of move that forward? Yeah, again, uh, the objectives of Intel, our open network platform and OPNFV are perfectly aligned. We launched the Intel Network Builders community less than two years ago with a couple dozen members. Uh, right now we are sitting at well over 150 uh, members, including some announcements that were made recently at NFV World Congress with Cisco coming in to join. There will be an announcement here uh, later today by Ericsson, who has also joined the program. So you see a lot of new market entrants, but you also see some of the existing market leaders joining the community. And our objective has been, again, to accelerate the move uh, and deployment of commercial solutions of NFV and SDN. So we will take the uh, Arno release, we will 
um, build upon that in terms of the open network platform releases and we'll share that openly and readily with our broad community uh, within our ecosystem to again try to stimulate a faster approach to broad scale uh, commercial deployments. And how are you going to do that? How are you going to build build on it? What's next for Arno and, and NFE? So, uh, so future Arno releases are going to focus uh, more on the use cases and the actual challenges as well as the needs to reach uh, performance capabilities and some feature requirements for varying uh, deployment models. Um, as I indicated, uh, the Intel Open Network Platform will build on those future releases and will work with our community of uh, Intel Network Builders members to align around these recipes, these reference architectures. They'll come into the OPNFV lab, they'll be able to test, verify, um, check for interoperability, uh, you know, look at some of the challenges in terms of performance and latency, and we will aid them every step of the way. So, Sanja, one last question. We're here at the just before the opening of the 2015 BTE, and last night, of course, was the Leading Lights Awards, and Intel won an award for uh, ONP. Yes, we were thrilled to uh, get that level of acknowledgement from the industry. Of course, uh, we we like uh, when innovation uh, gets recognized, but we really do need to thank the broad community in our ecosystem ha that have taken that platform and created a commercial solutions uh, around it. And so um, this just uh, is more uh, evidence that the market is indeed uh, moving forward and that technology innovation uh, really makes a big difference in terms of just acceleration in the market. So we're super excited. Yeah. It's Great to have the acknowledgement and validation, I imagine. Yeah. Congratulations on that, thank and thank you, very you so much. much for joining us. Thank you.